This is an unboxing video of the HTC Vive and this setup, as you can see from the title of the video. Uh, just before we begin, I'd like to apologize in advance. There are parts of the video where the camera was not focused. Uh, I realized this after completing the video and returning the camera back to my friend. So to begin, opening the box, we can see the two controllers, the base station and the HTC headsets. The controllers are very good quality. I'm very happy with the construction of it. Uh, as you would expect from buying such a high-tech piece of gaming equipment. So moving on to the base stations, I've brought tripods to mount mine. Uh, it was ideal for my situation, but you can also use uh, floor-to-ceiling mounts. I know that some people are using those, and you can also use clamp mounts. And lastly, we have the star of the show, the HTC Vive itself. I look forward to use this throughout the year. Uh, it feels very solid. I'm happy, happy with the construction. I just hope it's comfortable to wear for long hours, or maybe not too long, don't want my eyes to go bad. Attached to the back of the box is a leaflet instructing the download and installation process. Uh, there's also a subscription code for Viveport, so that gives me a free month subscription. Next we have the deluxe audio strap, so this is what came with the, uh, with the bundle. Uh, I chose to buy this alongside the HTC Vive because when I was reading reviews online, uh, people suggested that this is the best way to get the best experience rather than having an external headset. I'll be putting together the a deluxe audio strap with the HTC Vive later on in the video. For my cable management system, I've decided to go with Kiwi Design with their retractable pulley system. Uh, it comes with seven pulleys. I'm using three in my setup at university. Uh, one of them did break. They it snapped off. So in terms of construction, it could be a bit better. But for what I need it for, it's been working quite well. Later on in the video, you'll be able to see my setup. So alongside my setup, I decided to get an external mic. After reading the views, I came to the conclusion that the inbuilt microphone just wasn't very good. So I chose to go with the Orfgeld lapel mic. Uh, first off, it wasn't working, but after their great customer service, I found out that I needed a 3-pin adapter first. So after purchasing that, it actually started to work very nicely. So in order to connect my external microphone up, I first need to buy a USB to audio microphone adapter, because the only port that's available in HCC5 is a USB port. So in order to connect it up, I need to buy one of those. Uh, this is the one I brought. It works very nicely because it's not too large, it's just big enough to get out of the strap, which we'll see later on, and uh, easy to connect up as well. So far, it's been working quite well. So to mount my base stations, I chose to go with a tripod because it worked well for the size of my room. Uh, I went for newest brand. Again, the link for the product can be found in the description below. Uh, it was a very easy setup. The parts put together was very easy, and the base station mounting was very easy. So far, it's been working quite well. Uh, keep in mind that for my dimensions, I have the smallest play area possible for playing VR games. So this is what it looks like when it when all the pieces are built together, and then the base station will just mount quite easily if I'm like that. So going back to the HTC Vive box, you have all the wires needed to set up the HTC Vive to the PC via the Vive port. You also have the wire to connect up the two base stations to each other if there is a sensing problem. But fortunately I didn't have this problem so I did not need to use it. They have also provided wires and two plugs to charge your HTC controllers. Moving on, I'm now detaching the existing head strap that comes with the HTC Vive. Uh, it's quite simple to do. As you can see from the diagrams on the box, you just have to rotate the strap clockwise and then just pull it off. If it's not pulling off what one of the sides wasn't, then you just rotate it back anti-clockwise and it should pop off. Uh, then you're required to take off the lid that covers the ports and then you need to send the ports back through the lid. This part took me a bit more time because I didn't want to pull on the wires too much. Now moving on to attaching the audio strap, this took me quite a while. Um, I was reading online that you do have to apply quite a significant amount of force. It started to make me doubt whether this was the right thing to do, but in the end you do have to apply quite a bit of force. Just make sure that they're lined up correctly. And then straight after that you just need to put the wires back through the flap. 
and then connect them all up together. Uh, at this point, I also connect up the USB to audio adapter that I'll be using for the microphone because there's only a USB input, there's no audio input. So you do have to buy that if you're looking to set up an external microphone or headset. So this is my setup at the end of the day. I apologize for the lighting. I didn't realize until after I'd completed the video that the lighting was pretty bad. So um, I'm so dedicated to making gaming videos that I've actually gotten rid of my bed. And I'll be sleeping in the floor for the rest of my semester. So as you can see, I've got the tripods in the corners of the room and then a base station is mounted on top of them. Um, and now I've got the pulley systems on the ceiling bring down the wires. So far, it's been pretty good. The area has been quite small. I have played some sword fighting games where I have breached my uh, my boundaries that I've set up for my play area. So I realized that if I do want to play sword fighting games or anything where I need to swing my arms, I will need a bit of a bigger play area. Fortunately, when I do go home for the summer or the holidays, I do have a bigger playing area, so that shouldn't be too much of a problem. If you've made it to the end of the video, I applaud you because this wasn't one of my best videos. Unboxing videos aren't my forte, as you can tell. However, this channel will be based on VR games and new content related to VR. So I'll be looking to play games, uh, trying to release new news on VR. So if you do have any comments, please leave them below. Uh, if there's any particular questions you have regarding my setup, then I will try and get back to you as soon as possible. So feel free to leave the questions below. Have a nice day.